is their bullet train version. And that's our room. There's a lot of shops here. You go enjoy. That's a Roma Termini uh, train station. Look how big that is. The steps we took are these Spanish steps built in the 17th, 18th century. That itself is the Colosseum from a different perspective. of attention to detail and construction back in 70 and 80 AD. Amazing. It's a temple built in 100, between 116 and 125 AD. I think we've covered roughly six or seven places in the top 10 here, but in one day. Ciao, buongiorno, hope all is well. Checking in here, checking out here from Florence or Firenze as they call here. That's the station, Firenze, Santa Maria Novello or something, SMN. That's where we're staying, right by the station. I don't know if you can see there, but that's the cathedral dome that we went yesterday. Everything is so close by. We stayed here for two days, walked quite a lot, but now today it's time to visit the main city of Italy that we wanted to visit uh, since, at least I wanted to visit since a long time. Yes. Have you heard of Rome? Yeah, of course. Okay. This is the room that we stayed in, small compact room, cost us 20,000, that's in Indian rupees, 20,000 for the entire stay. Small washroom. It works. The major uh, reason to stay here is one, it's near to the station so we can get down and travel easily. Just got one big bag and two small bags and obviously the backpack. We left most of our uh, big suitcases back in Bologna. You can drop our baggages at various locations uh, in Europe or in Italy. You don't need to carry everything every time, every place you go. You just need actually a backpack and a small bag to travel around. Done? Yes. Chalo, time to sweat out, time to push the bag. The station's like 10 minutes walk. Normal time when there are no bags, it's easy, but with bags it also slightly tricky. So she's taking two of those, I'm taking these two. And unlike yesterday, I'm gonna go to the station and book the ticket because sometimes the train will get cancelled, as you saw, and it's a long process. So we're gonna go there, book through the app, and get into the station. We need to get to coach number seven. I think this is their bullet train version. Not exactly the fastest, but quick enough. Unlike yesterday, there was less running, less sweat, more time on the train to figure out the coach and get in. And this train stopped here for uh, almost 10-15 minutes. It's going to be one hour, 50 minutes or roughly two hours to uh, Rome. This costed uh, 100 euros by the way. And there's a cheaper option for 77 euros, but that would take uh, three, three and a half hours. The next train we take from Rome is going to be directly to Venice. So that's going to be almost a three and a half hour ride. At that point of time, I'll see uh, how fast these trains go because I heard they're pretty fast. Time to get some work done, editing work, long day. This is, this is the only time I can get to edit because once I reach the hotel, I'll be relaxing, going out. When we're traveling, we just want to cover as many locations as possible, right? So today's the transfer location, so we'll have some time. So one day to transfer, one day to explore. So that's the shit. that's the itinerary that I've been using and no guide, nothing here, just planning on my own, uh, using trains to travel. Pretty easy and simple. If you plan a little ahead of time, things are manageable. You just need a phone and an internet. There is some issue with my uh, local SIM card. So I switched back to Airtel Roaming, paid like what, 4,000 rupees for 5 GB of data. Turned off Instagram because that is the data killer. Rest all apps are fine because they uh, load, uh, you can load Google Maps offline. Uh, you don't use Facebook and all. I don't use Facebook anyway. So hardly any data being used so far in the last four days. I've used maybe 600 MB of data. Out of that, maybe 100 MB for maps and 100 for Instagram because we, some locations I was uh, tempted to share immediately because you guys are four hour, three and a half hours ahead of me, right? So sometimes I want to let you know what's happening. Anyway, let me start editing. We'll catch you guys in Rome. Just checked into the hotel here in Rome and this hotel is just five minutes away from the train station. The main reason why I booked this. It was coming out to be similar cost as the old one, but this looks so much more premium. So I got a bigger room, so I paid little extra. Little monthly, maybe 4,000 more. That's it. Check out the room and you'll know why paying that extra was worth it. The key card here looks like a credit card here. Fancy stuff. The other card's already in there. 
That's our room. Hello. Hey, hi. How do you like the room? It's very beautiful. No? So they give one extra bed, but first let me show you the view. That's the train station. Just few minutes walk. Oh, some storage system here. The best part though, look at the wash, size of the washroom. I mean, you have seen better and bigger ones here, but for Europe, this is lovely. So, some storage areas here for all the luggages, which we'll do once we come back. And this is where I was getting the best signal in terms of Wi-Fi speeds. So, I started uploading a vlog. <laughs> Currently at 6% and the 3 hours to go, so this will go on. You know, this is only 4,000 more than what we paid for the other hotel. So The second one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Three. Time to have some lunch because it's almost 2.30 and we're all, we both are super hungry. Texture, perfect proportions of taste. It's good. It's very good. So one more or probably in the entire trip that is close to the top meal we had. Yeah. Like the first place near uh, in Bologna was the best. This is very close. This is good because there's a lot of variety. The total cost was two desserts, two meals, water, one liter ka. Sub milk is 32 for two people. Even in India, you would have similar cost for a nice restaurant, and this was really good. It looks small, boutique, like hidden, but definitely worth it. And the server waiter there was a Bangladeshi. I think the owner's from Egypt, but the food they made, the Italian food that the chef made, was really good. You enjoyed your food? Yeah, mm -hmm. very much. Chalo, time to get back to the hotel, relax for a while, and then. Today is a very chilled out day. We're just gonna relax around the hotel. Tomorrow is when we are gonna explore because you go enjoy. I'm not coming. I'm staying in the hotel, editing, and in the evening when the sun's down fully, that's when I'll come out. You just, just to roam around. Video, no, right? Today? Uploading still, oh, okay. not yet uploaded. Okay. So <coughs> that's gonna take time, and the place gets better in the night. So I'm gonna wait till it's eight or nine in the night to come out and explore again. In the shade it looks fine but Garmi me too hot air. Checks complete, no issues found. Man, the struggle behind that upload is something only you can appreciate and only I can understand because I thought I'll explore a cafe or the train station nearby to see if I can upload the video and do it today which is what 27th of july so it didn't happen so i went to a cafe the download speed so good upload was around three four mbps which wasn't good enough so cancelled the upload came back came to this hotel and found that konepe spot where the speed so perfect hoping to do some editing here and upload as many videos as possible from this hotel so that eventually i can schedule and post them uh, in an order in every two three days apart that's the plan while she's gonna explore some local shopping, I guess. Yeah. Enjoy. You're not Hope you don't get lost. Uh, I activated uh, the first uh, local SIM that I bought on her phone and I'm using the Airtel SIM that I have. For her, she has some data, so I just topped it off with like six euros, but she has enough data to check the maps and go. Chalo, let me get uh, some editing done. We'll catch you guys later in the night. Time to head out for dinner. And looks like the weather gods have shown some mercy on me, at least. I don't know about you, but... I've been waiting for some cooler weather, man, for a long time. And just to give a context of where we are, that's a Roma Termini uh, train station. Look how big that is.
We have reached Piazza di Spagna. So this is where we want to chill and have some food. That's the plan. But this doesn't look as lively as Florence, right? Florence, yeah. I don't have my zoom lens, but look at the detailing on this. Not bad, yeah. Decently active place. But the challenge would be to find a good place, not too expensive place, to find dinner. Quattro formaggi, four cheese pizza. Let's see how it is. If you're wondering, that looks so wild. It's the lighting, and also there is no tomato. There, obviously, four cheese pizza. This is yum. So we just came up from there. I put somewhere around here behind the building. Walked all the way. We went almost like five to six floors. And the best part about this view is that. And this one, obviously. You see the spire there? And you see the basilica there? There are a lot of streets where the visibility from few miles across is clear. I think the churches the basilicas, the spires, the piazzas are very well connected here in Rome. Yeah? Not just in Rome, mostly in Italy. After exploring some piazza nearby, I realized that the steps we took are these Spanish steps built in the 17th, 18th century. Rome is so historical that at every nook and corner there's something ancient and you don't know what it is unless you google and research about it. After coming to the hotel which was around 11 o'clock, we were pretty tired even though we didn't uh, walk too much. Matlab, compared to the previous days, it's around 9.45 so we're gonna quickly have something and head to the Colosseum, which is another tick box item for tourists uh, who are coming to Italy. Like it's the one of the wonders of the world obviously. This is our breakfast, my breakfast at least since the last uh, few days or a week I guess. Juice, fruits, bread, yogurt and some cereals. Let's finish this meal and uh, head out to check out the Colosseum. We are somewhere here in this basilica. We go to the Colosseum at like before 11.30, finish this area. Then go to Vatican City because that's the most important point. And we explore somewhere here, this part probably. And come back. From our hotel, there's a different route to the Colosseum. Main, a uh, lot of traffic and all with shops and all. It just felt too crowded and hot. Found an alternate route through a park. I wonder why not many people are taking this route because this is so scenic. They must be on those uh, hop on hop off buses because a lot of people were selling those hop on hop off buses, but it was costing 20 euros. We just thought we're gonna cover two, three locations, not more than that, the main ones. So we don't need a bus for that. We can just walk or take a local bus which is cheaper, one, one, one and a half euro, not more than that. That itself is the Colosseum from a different perspective. That's one floor and that's the entire structure. Did you guys know that this was built between 70 to 80 AD? That's not 1970s or 80s here, 70, year 70 to 80 after death of Christ. So we just had a PNR number uh, when we booked on the official site but we have to pick up the physical ticket from here so that we can have that barcode for them to scan I guess. We still have time, 11.30 is the scheduled time for us. So you get two lines, this is the individual line, there's a group line too. This was supposed to be in the email originally but I didn't get the email. So the lady sent the email again and we finally got the ticket. Crazy. including the basement I guess but madness here let's see if we can get to the top floors because some passes have access to many areas some don't we got the basic pass we are here so underground and third floor is a guided tour second floor should be level 2 should be normal I guess that's how it was supposed to be I guess only with the full experience no 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 this is the other guy not the full experience I just thought it was too expensive not required this was like somewhere in between okay. really steep stairs Regular floors the police said this is sixth or seventh floor. <laughs>
So that's the platform. That's the basement layer. And these are the various floors where you watched events from. You see how high this went. Next up, Foro Romano and uh, Palatino. So the paper, let's go. This is the Roman Forum, and that's the Colosseum. We are on the Palatine Hill, and definitely looks ancient but magnificent. These are all the findings from the excavations done a few hundreds of years ago. That wall shows you how far they have dug, and I'm sure they'll find a lot more if they keep digging. Just take a look at this. They try to reconstruct as much as possible, but still, such an interesting place. I would have loved this in terms of architecture and design, but even someone who doesn't know much about architecture still appreciates uh, the work behind putting all this together. So much of attention to detail and construction back in 70 and 80 AD. Amazing. Spent all the time at the Colosseum, Roman Forum, and the uh, what's the hill name? The Pantheon Hill. It was quite a lot. Before we check the next one, thought we'll just take a coffee break. So stopped here at nice cappuccino here, and she had uh, black cold coffee with some cream. You liked it? After cream, yes. <laughs> she didn't know what order. She ordered cold coffee. She just got black coffee, which is cold. Yeah, I was just to add the cream. So yeah. After that, it was good. Okay, we'll finish the Pantheon now and then Vatican City. That's the plan. St. Peter's Square, especially. That's what I'm looking forward to because I've seen it so many times on TV, wanted to see it in person. These two locations, and I think we're done with it. And that's Pantheon for you. It's a temple built in 100, between 116 and 125 AD. Massive structure. Man, how did they build this at that time? Yeah? Take a look at that detail. Finally, we reached the spot that's very famous in Rome, besides the Colosseum. That's the St. Peter's Square and the St. Peter's Church. So this is Vatican City, guys. And right when I reach here, my Sony camera battery died because I shot so much stuff and forgot charging the extra battery. I wanted to zoom in and get all the shots, but for that, you gotta wait for a while. Probably it's better in the morning because the sun's on the other side. Look at the square, though. See, that's the line to go inside. Boy, it's so hot. We're not getting any good pictures with the St. Peter's Basilica. But the St. Peter's Square looks good because the sun's facing that side. And this would be really lovely in the night time. We wanted to finish all and just go to the hotel and relax. But the better itinerary would be go in the morning to uh, the Colosseum. Go have some lunch somewhere nearby. Go back to the hotel. Come back around 6 o'clock here because that would be really good. Unless you want to go inside the Basilica which uh, has certain timings, right? We are not so curious about going inside because it's again another 40 50 euros I just didn't feel like uh, checking it out from inside outside it's, it looks pretty good last stop of the day trevi fountain she liked the fountain yesterday at uh, plaza de spania spanish near the spanish steps but this one's rated among the top 10 uh, to be visited when you're here in rome i think we've covered roughly six or seven places in the top 10 here that in one day pretty good but we haven't explored any location fully so that's probably the downside but that's okay 
you got some good photos i guess probably one more reason to come back again to rome maybe Probably there's the evening snack here, chestnuts being fried. This this is the same place we came last night. So a lot of shops here, none of my shame or something. And we're just gonna chill here for a while before we head back to the hotel. That's the plan. No, 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 no. The spaghetti is so heavy. I can feel the flex on the spoon. This is a plastic spoon. It's a small boutique place, but pretty good food. The tomato sauce or the pomodoro is amazing. A lot of flavor in every food item we tried here. And the parmesan cheese is on top of that is just the perfect icing. Trying some spicy pizza with that looks like a regular veggie pizza. It's really good. spicy. So yeah, happy. Good. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And in case you're watching, it's my time. Have a good night and take care. Bye.